All right, guys, how you doing? It's Rabia. I hope you're all good. So it's that time again where we've been gifted with a beautiful tonal gift from the wonderful people at Neural DSP with a new plugin. If you know Neural DSP, you know they specialize in fantastic sounding guitar and bass plugins, uh, which I've been demoing and using for a couple, well, at least a year, at least now, a year and a half, something like that. Anyway, we've got a new plugin. This is the 14 Cali Suite, 14 amplification specialized in those hardcore, heavy, metal, just awesome sounding amp tones. I've never really tried one in the flesh, so I've always used these plugins and they sound fantastic, but we've done the NTS, the Nameless, we've now got the Kali Suite. So what is the Kali Suite plugin? Basically, you've got three uh, channels, so you've got clean, an OD1 and an OD2. There's a bunch of voicing switches, bright switches, things that affect the negative feedback of the amplifier, which essentially change the response, the, the high end, the low end, but basically all that kind of stuff. It's a real tone tweakers plugin. We've got a bunch of IRs, I think over 100 IRs made by Nolly, of course, so you know they're going to be fantastic. There's a couple of extra cool features for the tone shaping, such as on OD1 and 2, you've got a violence switch, which basically gives you, I think it sounds like another clipping stage or just more gain, but it's definitely more violent. But we've also got a saturation switch, I think, so it sort of compresses your overall tone. And I've made a bunch of presets, which should be available uh, now if you've got the plugin already. I was asked by the guys at Neural to create some presets, so I've done some for strats and some for humbucker guitars, which I'll be showing you through on the plugin today. But first and foremost, let's go over the plugin really quickly across a screen grab so you can see what it's all about, and then we'll get into some tones. Okay, so welcome to the Fortin Cali Suite. This is just like all the other neural plugins in terms of the way it looks, which I love, great continuity, and it's easy to navigate, especially if you use quite a few different plugins. So very quickly, let's do an overview of the amp and all the sections. Along the top, you can see you've got stomp box mode, which is where your Zool gate is, your hex drive, and your grind pedal. Then you've got your amp view. So we're currently set to the clean channel right now. And then you've got your cab view with 125 different IRs that Nolly has made himself. You can see here all the different mics and stuff, but we'll get into that in a moment. So that's how you navigate between the three different modes. Then you've got your input level, your gate, uh, mono or stereo mode, oversampling, your preset area and artist uh, preset areas, and then your output. Beneath that, you've got your sort of main interface. So in amp view, we can see all the, you know, different features of this particular amp channel, which is the clean channel, which is displayed along the bottom here. You can see clean, OD2 and OD1. Now, in terms of the order of the channels, this is how it is on the actual amp. So clean, OD2, then OD1, just in case you were wondering. To the bottom left, we've got our MIDI programmability and a tuner, which is awesome. And to the right, you've got a window size view mode. The clean channel, straightforward, master presence, three band EQ and gain, but then we've got our switches, which really do shape the sound of this amplifier. So thump being your sort of, I suppose, resonance, uh, negative feedback. So everything in the lo sort of low end, low mid range, and then hair, which is a uh, negative feedback for the high mid, high end range. Then you've got your pull, uh, saturation pu push pull knob, which you just click, uh, which only comes into effect on the clean channel when the gain is pushed beyond two o'clock. Then we've also got a bright switch, so it's really cool. There are different levels of it, of course. So if you're to the left, it's probably less. And then to the right, a bit more in the middle, it's probably turned off, but we'll get into that in a moment. OD2, uh, similar layout again, but you've got your master presence, three band EQ, then you've got two gains. So similar to the uh, nameless amp, which is kind of like a plexi thing, really. It's how you've got your two different gains and you can blend these to get the kind of gain tones that you want. Um, we've got a bright switch again, and then we've got the added violence switch, which to the right is less violent and to the left is more violent. So that's really cool. Again, the pull saturation knob, which affects the bass. Now we'll hear that across the board um, when you're using these gains, but I suppose the more gain there is, the less you might hear it, I'm not sure. And then we've got the thump control again, hair and thump. So it's the same situation there. It really does change the feel overall of the amp. And then we've got OD1, which again is a similar situation here. In fact, it's the same as OD2, but as you can see, uh, all the same going on here. It's a different voice really more than anything else. So that is the amp layout. Then we've got our cab section. So 
Nolly has made 125 IRs that you can use for this, which is sick. And he is very, very good at that. So they always do sound fantastic. But again, like the other plugins, you can uh, blend them, flip phase. You can use one or two mics. Uh, you can pan them, move the positioning of them all, of course. And you've got the different microphones. So your 57s, 421s, 414s, 184s, 121s and 160. And of course, you can load your own IRs into this as well. But just like all the other plugins, the way it's laid out is wonderful. You can see everything you need to see. It's very easy to navigate, but most importantly, it sounds fantastic, which we'll get into right now. Okay, so we're set up in front of the computer. I've got a screen grab going. Uh, we're gonna go through the presets that I've made, but within those presets, we can mess with some of the different features for the negative feedback and the voicing switches, so on and so forth. But I spent quite a bit of time dialing these in, so I think it's a good place to start. So we're gonna start with my strap presets. I've got four, and we're gonna start straight away with the clean presets. This is how it sounds. Just to let you know, any reverb and delay you're hearing is my Aux Sense Capital Chambers Galaxy Tape Echo, which I'll blend in and out depending on what it is I'm playing um, but yeah just so you know So great sounding, great sounding clean, a really beautiful, sounds like a really high headroom, full bodied clean tone. So we know that sounds great. Uh, let's mess with some of the toggle switches and see how we can affect the sound of this guitar. So we add a little bit more uh, top end with the bright switch. I'd obviously made this preset to not have that in there, but you can hear there's a huge difference. Random chords sound like jazz, but you can hear that really does make a difference with the bright switching. So let's mess with the hair switch. So in the middle, it's kind of neutral. To the left is a little bit, to the right is a lot. So let's check it out. We're currently running a lot of hair. You can hear it makes a difference to the low end response uh, and there's a bit of, it sounds like more drive at the top, like it's warmer and rounder the way I've said it because I want it to be right more of a true clean. But if I put the hair all the way to the left, Sounds wonderful. And you can clearly hear that using the different toggle switches just massively affects the overall sound, like hugely, which is great. So let's have a quick look at thump as well. Currently set to the left. In the middle. feels really good, that's the thing. I always say it with neural plugins, but it's the truth. It just feels great, especially on a Strat, which is a very vocal sounding guitar, you know, to be able to get that. So that's a clean preset of mine. Let's do something a bit opposite. Let's get a dirty strap tone going. Let's do, let's do strap rock. Thank you. 
So I love that. It's a really raunchy, just banging strat tone. But we can make it a bit thicker if we want. Let me show you what the voicing switch does for a start. Sounds awesome. Let me back off the gain. I'll show you how the gains work actually. So you need them both up a little bit, but so this is lowish gain. If we start bringing it up, you can hear how both the gains are accessed different sort of areas, if you know what I mean. Like now it should sound a little less honky. So we'll do the pulse saturation switch. Check this out. It should scoop things out a bit more, give it a bit more depth. That's a strat, sounds evil. I'm into it. Okay, we'll move on to another one. Uh, let's try Rabia Strat Spank. Spanky, but that same preset, if you back off with your playing a bit, maybe even do some finger picking stuff with a bit of reverb and delay, it's a really nice uh, dynamic clean tone. On to one of my favorites, this is the Strat Dirty preset. I'm really into that, especially with some reverb and delay, just for some soaring, sort of stratty lead tones. Proper filthy. Awesome. Okay, so those were some of the Strat presets. Now we're gonna move on to something more contemporary, starting with a preset that I decided to call uh, Rabia Junt. <laughs> So that one was just for a bit of fun in case you guys wanted something like that. I don't really, I wouldn't say I'm definitely the authority on that kind of tone, but it's, it's good fun either way and it can do it. So next up, I've got an OD1 rhythm to try. Again, it's a little less uh, mid-present than the Junt one, but you can hear it's still similar, but it's just a bit thicker. <laughs>
So I'm perfectly aware that I keep playing and then stopping and going, sounds great, let's try a new one, because it just does. And it's really easy to get a great tone out of it. You know, if you can see on close up here, like it's not drastic, you know, backed off a bit of presence, bit of bass, but you know, middle and treble, it's, it's all fairly normal, you know, in terms of where you dial something in, but it just feels really good. Um, you know, we can mess with this a little bit more if we want. Um, let's mess with the hair switch on this much uh, gain. <laughs> quite like going for aggressive mid-range tones as you can hear but again with this tone let's see what we can do with the pedals so I've just got the gate engaged right now uh, if I take it out but put it back in nice and tight uh, so with the hex drive as you can see I've dialed it in with no drive a little less tone and full level to really hammer the front When you throw on the hex drive, obviously you've got tons of gain and it wants to feed back, but it's got all sustain in the world if you just want to play lead. So yeah, I really like the way that sounds, especially for lead. So let's show you the 14 grind pedal now on the same sound. We'll AB the hex drive and the grind. So this is the hex drive. <laughs> And now grind. As you could hear, the grind adds loads of mid range and, and tightens up the low end, which, you know, if you're playing a seven or eight string in certain genres, that's going to be really, really handy for you to use. Right, let's check out my OD2 rhythm. So let's just show you what's going on in the amp channel. Um, so we're using OD2, I've got the voicing switch to the right, so it's the less gain of the two. I'm running the gain two on full and gain one just a little bit, uh, well, about six o'clock. Uh, I've got all the bright switch in, and yeah, basically this is how it sounds. I wanted a thicker, more rhythm chordy kind of sound, and that's exactly what it sounds like. It's just so much fullness and power behind that. Yeah, great. And then on the pedal side of things, um, let's have a quick gander. Yeah, we got the hex drive in. Uh, but if you wanted to, again, to tighten that up and give it a little more intensity, uh, you could maybe back off the drive, back off the level, and then add the grind. <laughs> In terms of miking, just a quick look at this really quickly. Um, I'm running a 160 and a 57. If I take out the ribbon, It's way more fizzy uh, because obviously I set the 57 to give me all my presence. If I show you the 160, that's all my chunk. But when you put the two together,
you can hear it makes a massive difference. And of course, does the, as does the microphone. So if I take out the 57, add a 421. So 57. 421. Way more aggressive. A bit more high mid presence with the ribbon back in. So lastly, I'm just going to take this sound that we've got and we're going to just mess with it and I'll show you on the close up all the things I'm doing to it so you can hear just how much you can tweak the sound. Obviously you can hear just how much you affect the sound of this amplifier. I imagine that the actual real amplifier is a lot of fun to use in a room. Um, but this is absolutely fantastic once again from Neural DSP. Like I was just able to dial in a quick tone that sounded really good on my single coil, like on my coil split mode. Really nice tone straight off the bat just by messing around real quick. Well, there you go. There's a look at the 14 Cali Suite from Neural DSP. Once again, outstanding. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'll link it all in the description box. Let me know if you've tried out my presets as well. I'd love to know what you think of those. Uh, thank you to Neural DSP. Thank you all for watching. I've been Rabir and I'll see you all very soon. <laughs>